Okay, this is David Martin World uh, channel. I recommend you guys check him out. He was a speaker at the recent Red Pill Expo out at Jekyll Island. This, what I'm showing you on the screen right now, is the CDC document, uh, statement by the CDC. David's going to rip this thing to shreds because this is the original source and then studies were produced citing this as their source. And then the CDC created policies based on the studies. So if you follow the rabbit trail of, of links and sources, which David does, and he does a fantastic job shredding it, you get back to this little gem right here, which says COVID-19 is thought, thought to spread, mainly through close contact from person to person, including people who are physically near each other within about six feet. Now, first of all, it says thought to spread. Second of all, this six feet thing is completely arbitrary. That has never happened in any kind of medical science. Um, it's absolutely arbitrary. We know, we've known for, for ages that a cough or a sneeze can travel 30 feet. So that six feet thing, somebody pulled that out of their ass. And moving on, people who are infected but do not show symptoms can also spread the virus to others. That's also false. There's tons of science that shows that there is no evidence that asymptomatic spreader or carriers of any disease are uh, infectious. Um, and even, I'm pretty sure Dr. Fauci even had to admit that. So moving on, cases of a reinfection of COVID-19 have been reported but are rare. That's cool because uh, Bigfoot has been reported and he's pretty rare too. So until you can prove a thing exists, then we'll talk about reinfection. Moving on, last statement, we are still learning about how the virus spreads and the severity of the illness. Oh, that's great. You're still learning, which is then cited to mean it's true, which is then recited as policy. So I'm going to go ahead and let David take it over from here. He does a great job shredding the crap out of this. I'm going to start this video at 10, uh, 11, and 15, roughly. So um, take it away, Dave, and you guys go check this guy out. I recommend you watch this video entirely and subscribe to his channel, whatever. See you later. Mind-bending people. But here's the funny thing, and you're going to want to look at this tomorrow, but right, tomorrow. inside of the background piece, there is a tiny little place here that says, um, let's just read the, the, the paragraph here. Masks are primarily intended to reduce the emission of virus-related droplets, which is especially relevant for asymptomatic or pre-symptomatic infected wearers who feel well and may be unaware of their infectiousness to others and who are estimated to account for more than 50% of transmissions. The number of beliefs that are in that sentence are, are, are staggering. Asymptomatic, otherwise known as healthy, not having illness. Pre-symptomatic, otherwise maybe feeling like you're a little bit off. But regardless of that, here's the important point. There's two references. So let's look at what the references are, shall we? <laughs> Right. No, we're not supposed to look at the references, because here's the funny little Stitch problem. Alert. In the four references cited in this particular scientific brief, of the four references cited, the Lindsley study, efficacy of face masks, neck gaiters, and face shields for reducing the expulsion of simulated cough-generated aerosols, number one. Simulate. Number two, low-cost measurement of face mask efficacy for filtering expelled droplets during speech. Study number three, visualizing the effectiveness of face masks in obstructing respiratory jets. Four, face coverings and masks minimize droplet dispersion and aerosolization of video case study. Now, those are the four references that were used by the CDC to actually say that masks work. Not a single one of those measured for the presence or absence of SARS-CoV-2 None of them measured whether or not a person infected with SARS-CoV-2 could expel a virus. None of them measured whether or not the wearer would not inhale a virus. And none of them actually did anything that had anything to do with SARS-CoV-2 infection. So it's important to point out that CDC's guidance that says that this is about face mask wearing for people who actually need to control SARS-CoV-2 transmission, none of their references did anything other than simulate coughs, speaking, and something else. But it gets worse. If you actually read the Lindsley study, for example, which I did, 
you see that they start off by saying SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes coronavirus disease, false statement, doesn't cause. It actually is associated with maybe, but doesn't cause. The virus that causes coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-19, can be transmitted from person to person by large respiratory aerosols. Never once, never once proven. It's produced by people who are infectious while they are talking, singing, coughing, and breathing, and sneezing, and then they have a reference, which is the CDC's reference, which in fact is, are you ready for this? Remember that this is a scientific briefing from the CDC, which referenced a study, which actually referenced the CDC's own document as a reference to establish the CDC's own guidance in which the CDC says COVID-19 is thought to spread mainly through close contact from person to person, including between people who are physically near each other within about six feet. People who are infected but do not show symptoms can also spread the virus to others. Cases of reinfection of COVID-19 have been reported but are rare. We are still learning about how the virus spreads and the severity of the illness it causes. Here's the pe people, CDC's own science is referencing their own op-ed about a thing which if you read the op-ed, it actually says they don't know how the thing transmits. But do you see what happens? If you build a tiny truth, because the CDC started telling the truth, we are still learning about how the virus spreads and the severity of the illness. That's a true statement. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but then that was cited as SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes coronavirus disease, can be transmitted. There's nothing in this reference that says anything about SARS-CoV-2 transmission. And that becomes referenced in saying that there is efficacy of face masks, and the title itself is a lie. It's not efficacious to wear a thing which has never been proven to have any effect at all. But it's interesting how this lie was concocted. Make a reference to a thing that you know you won't read. Say that that thing said that something happened, which you can't verify. Justify. And then keep going back, and unfortunately in this case, you get to the self-referential loop that brings you all the way home to the fact that the CDC started by almost telling the truth. And they actually said COVID is thought to spread mainly. Well, there you go. Go check this guy out. See ya.